Hi, and welcome back to my channel. This is the Bibliophile Puzzler, Robin. For those of you who don't know who I am, I think most of you know, I am running late calendar-wise to do my January puzzle finishes. Now, I'm going to grab my iPad and I'm going to open up the Puzzle Tracker app and we will see what I accomplished for January. So when I open January, it tells me that I completed 10,260 pieces across 16 puzzles. I know it's 16 puzzles because they're right here, but I was really curious about the puzzle piece size. Now, this piece size will be smaller than what I'm going to do for this month, February. Like right now I'm working on my sixth puzzle maybe. Um, because I did some of the Little House on the Prairie puzzles and they were 252 pieces each. So I had a slower month with regard to that, but there were other factors. Number one, I try to do some diamond painting a little bit every day and I caught up on my blog. I think I wrote 47 reviews and I posted to my blog, to Neck Alley, to Goodreads, to Amazon. And I was very, very busy with that because I was working on a backlog from November, December. And I'll be just as busy this month, but I don't have near, it's just as busy reading this month, but not nearly as many reviews. So let's get started. And these puzzles I'm going to show you will be in no particular order, but we'll start with the Little House on the Prairie puzzles. This one is one of Charles Ingalls. Okay, I'm gonna try to avoid the glare. And these puzzles were very unique. First of all, they're custom puzzles and it says sold by an independent artist on Redbubble. And all it says is 252 piece puzzle. That's all it says. Now, these puzzles, the way they're cut, with the exception of the edge pieces, every piece fits almost exactly into another spot two, three, or even four times over. Number two, it's very, they're very blurry. I'm going to have an image up on the screen. They're very, very, very blurry. And because of the blurriness in the piece cut, these puzzles took much longer than say even a 500 piece puzzle because I was constantly reshifting the pieces. The third problem I had with that is a very, very loose fit. So if you were working on one corner and you touch another corner with this hand, you just messed up everything over there. So I started setting something on the corner I wasn't working on so that when I bumped it, the pieces would stay. So I ran into some issues. Nonetheless, I also did this one, which is one picture of the Ingalls family. And this is one with just Laura, Carrie, and Mary. Okay. And then I did another one. This is Laura. Okay. If you like the show. I do have two more of these that I didn't get completed. And I am selling them. So if you're interested, let me know in the mess. Uh, the this uh, comment section below. This is, I just call this one schoolhouse. It's Mary, uh, Laura, I see Willie in the back. They're all at school. And the last one I did in this particular batch was another Ingalls family picture, but this one includes baby Grace along with Laura, Mary, and Carrie. And of course, mom and pa. So those were the five 252 piece puzzles I did, which because of all the issues that I had with those, it took me a little bit longer. If these, if I don't sell these, I, I know I'll do them again because they're, this was one of my absolute favorite shows and it brings back a lot of sentimentality. Okay, like I said, I'm not showing you these puzzles in any particular order, just how I happen to put them there to take the uh, picture. And this is a vivid collection from Buffalo called Window Lilies. It's a 100 piece puzzle. I loved this puzzle. It is only the second stained glass puzzle that I've ever done. I, I did one maybe back in 2020. So this is the only one that I have in my collection. I don't have any more stained glass puzzles, but this had the stained glass effect. You would think that it would be challenged because of, challenging because of the lilies and the repetition of the colors, the reds and the yellows and the whites, but it was, it was a breeze to put together. I loved it. 
Now this is 750 piece puzzle, cities in color. It's Copenhagen. Now this one was a little bit more challenging than I thought, only because of the sky and the reflection in the water and how the buildings reflect in the water. But for 750 pieces, I think it was a great challenge. I did enjoy it. I love working with cities and landscape pictures. I love working with sky, I love working with water. So when you factor all of that in, it was a very enjoyable experience. Now I'm going to show you my favorite puzzle for January. Cosmic Marvels by Amy Stewart. Just look at that puzzle. This is a gradient type puzzle. Very busy, obviously, because you don't have like solid patterns that you can find, like buildings or trees or, or benches or the sky, but boy, did I love it. It went together really well. I had no issues with it. It was beautiful. Amy Stewart is one of my favorite illustrators. I think I have 45 of her puzzles. Let's just see, how many Amy Stewart puzzles do I have? It should only take me a second to find out. Now, before I went to the Puzzle Tracker app to see how many I, pieces I did, but now if I go in and I look under Artists on the iCollect app, it tells me that I have 36 Amy Stewart puzzles in my collection. That's 36, and I think I have to put in my new ones. I do have some, okay, I did put in my new ones. I have some 2,000 piece puzzles of hers that I just wanted to make sure I added, and I did. <clears throat> okay, the next puzzle I'm gonna show you, <clears throat> excuse me for that. The next puzzle I'm going to show you is Pink Kitchen, part of Ibu's Kitchen series. I love this puzzle, and if you check out the video for this puzzle, you will see that I show all of the puzzles in the kitchen series. Kitchen cupboard, lavender kitchen, green kitchen, blue kitchen, this one pink kitchen, and then kitchen chickens. I feel like there's one more, but th this was a great puzzle. I had to buy it right away. I paid a little bit too much in shipping than I normally would, but I did not want to wait for this to come on Amazon. I saw it on the Ibu site and it was definitely mine. Now this one came from my friend Hope. I have two puzzles like this. I do have a couple other from New Yorker Magazine. I think it's New, no, I mean, well, this is New Yorker Magazine, but this is New York Puzzle Company. Excuse me for that misstep, misstep. But this is from the New Yorker Magazine, and this is the 1951 issue back when it was 20 cents. And I did check, and I'm pretty sure it's still in circulation. And I love this one. This was just called The Lighthouse. And I love lighthouses in my images, in my puzzles. In fact, lighthouses are my absolute favorite thing in any jigsaw puzzle. So when Hope gave this to me and I was preparing my January queue, I definitely put that in there. The next puzzle I want to show you is called Purple Birds and Flowers. It's a one of my, I did three 500 piece puzzles. And this is obviously a round puzzle. All of their 500 piece puzzles are round. They do have one 1,000 piece puzzle that's round, but usually their 1,000 piece puzzles are a square. But then I did one of my Circle of Colors puzzles. I think I have 11. And I just found out that Amazon Germany has four new ones, four. So once I get my hands on those, I'll have 15. But this one is called Pokeball. And I believe this was used in one of the world championship jigsaw for the jigsaw puzzlers. So I was glad to have this. I didn't time myself. I just did it just for the sheer joy of doing it. So this was Pokeball, Circle of Colors 500 by Ravensburger. Then we have this one. This was another one, I believe, from Ro um, excuse me, from Hope. This is Marty Rosa Dreaming. And this puzzle was, like I said, 500 pieces. But the company for this one is Clementoni. And this kind of reminds me a little bit of the Copenhagen one I showed you with a beautiful city view. 
So I loved doing this puzzle. I didn't have any problems finding sections to work on. I just went quick, 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 and I got it done. I loved it. And like I said, January was a slower puzzle month for me because I had other stuff that would, had to get done. So this one here, this is Book Nook from White Mountain, a 1,000 piece puzzle. Books, cats, and jigsaw puzzles is a win, win, win for me. I love this. You would think it would be extra challenging because of all the thin books, you know, on the bookshelves. There were cats, there were mice, there was a fireplace, there was a stained glass window over there. But it was a lovely picture. And I remember telling Hope in one of our messages, messaging sessions, that oddly enough, these pieces just kept falling into place. I didn't even struggle with this one, which I thought I would. And, and another thing that I thought about this puzzle, I thought it was going to be a dark puzzle because of how the top and the bottom looks, but it wasn't at all. I loved it. I did do another White Mountain puzzle in January, and this is called Great Stories, whereas most of these books are made up by the artist, but I still enjoyed it. I love puzzles like this because you look for the same type of images or colors or elements as you put the pieces together. So I really enjoyed working on this one. And again, it's called Great Stories. Last but not least, I did this puzzle to celebrate my 2000 subscribers on this channel. And it's simply called 2000, a year of celebration. I'm sorry, I just blocked part of my face. 2000, a year celebration. I loved this puzzle. It was a shaped puzzle, as you can see, you know, the, the two and then the O's. So you had the spaces in between and it was three feet long and t t nearly two feet tall. So my replacement tray for a dog crate fit it just right just right so i love this puzzle i did get it on ebay but sometimes you'll find it on amazon but i'll link it in the description below to where you can get a copy of it but if you like shape puzzles and puzzles that are really pleasurable to put together and puzzles where you get to look at the different factors or elements in the puzzle and think about or ponder over those things then the puzzle can bring you a lot of joy so it's taken me a week to make this video. I have been putting puzzle video up, but I'm not facing the camera. Facing the camera can be a challenge, especially when I'm exhausted and I've got things going on. But I'm going to edit this video. My cat entertained himself a few times, so I've got to edit him out. But I want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you with my next video. Have a pleasant day.